G'day guys, welcome to another grocery haul. I'm gonna share the prices at the bottom of the screen, so do check that out if you wanna compare to where you're living. So first off to the butcher, he was still setting up this morning, so he didn't have everything out. So we just got the lamb chops. We were hoping to get mince and bacon as well, but we didn't. Um, and these lamb chops were $10. Today we went shopping at Coles. We were gonna go to Aldi, but Aldi doesn't open till 8.30 and we were ready to go earlier than that, so we started. So we spent $127.75 and a total savings of $27.67. I'll share with you at the end what our meal plan is for the week. But first, let's get into the groceries. So first off, we've got two avocados. They were $2.50 each or two for $4. So we got two. Really love having avocado toast. Then we've got some fresh herbs. So we've got, bas we've got basil and we've got oregano. They were $3 each or two for $5. So we got two for $5. Then we got 250 grams of strawberries for $2. And these are really quite big strawberries. So you only get a few, but I slice them up for us all. Carrots are a great price at the moment. I've got a kilo for a dollar. We've got some mandarines at $2.50 a kilogram. They're $1.39. Since we came back from Cairns, we're absolutely loving mandarines. They're just so juicy and sweet at the moment. Two eggplants, which is 500 grams. They are $6.50 a kilogram, but but I'm already so excited for the meal that we're gonna be having this week, which is eggplant boats. It's absolutely delicious. We've done it in uh, What's For Dinner episode recently and I'm just excited to have it again. So we've got a red and a green capsicum. And uh, this is crazy. This is double the price per kilogram as this. So the green capsicum is $3.50 a kilogram and the red capsicum is $6.90 a kilogram. Got a lovely celery. How do you store your celery? We tend to put it on the bench in a jug um, and sometimes I just slice off the bottom. Or do you store yours in the fridge? Is that how you store yours to keep it fresh? Iceberg lettuce for $2.50. Bananas for $3.57. Pink lady apples, $2.90 for one kilogram. We actually like to chop up the apples and put them in a bit of a fruit salad with yogurt, which is really nice. Three liters of full cream milk for $3.59. Cheese is definitely more expensive at Coles than Aldi. So this is one kilo of coon cheese for $9.50. We absolutely love cheese in our house. We tend we really enjoy having it as a snack on vita wheat crackers or just by itself. Meat pies are on specials, so $5 for four. I do enjoy having a meat pie while I'm watching the football. Dim sims for $6.70. Do you know what? If all goes to custard and I don't have a meal, we'll have dim sims. We all really enjoy dim sims. Salami and cream for the penne we're gonna be making this week. A kilo of frozen corn cobs. Our toddler absolutely loves corn. So this would be her favorite vegetable. So I find this is fantastic to have as it's so simple to do for lunch or even an afternoon snack. Parmesan cheese for $6.79. We used to get it already shredded, but since we've been grating it ourselves, the flavor has been so much better. So we've just been grabbing the block now when we need Parmesan. Bread rolls for our beef burgers. Two loaves of Helga's multigrain bread. Wheat Bix, just looking at the back here, it's got a banana berry smoothie. It has two wheat bix, frozen berries, chopped banana and milk. Mix that all together and it goes into two glasses. So I might try that. And then it's also got these almond cranberry balls, which look quite good as a bit of a snack. Might have to give these a go. I don't normally pay too much attention to the recipes on the box, but these look like some good ones. Dave's coffee, Robert Tim's for $4.82. My coffee was 50% off and was $3. So got four packets of those. Pineapple slices for our beef burgers, peanut butter, Italian herbs, pasta sauce, and two punnets of free range eggs. At the moment, we're having eggs for breakfast. I was lucky enough last week to purchase the pie maker, the Kmart pie maker. So stick around to the end and I'll show you how I do my eggs in there. They are delicious and so simple. Have you got a pie maker? Let me know in the comments below. I'm hoping to do some videos on them, but I'm just trying out a few recipes at the moment. I've done donuts twice, and eggs three times. <laughs> but I've only had it less than a week, so I'm really enjoying it and so easy to use and clean. Chicken drumsticks for $6.55. Just Coles brand paper towel, $1.70. And two lots of the penne for 65 cents each. Okay, these are our meals for the week. So we've got satay chicken drumsticks, 
eggplant boats is what I'm gonna call them. Beef burgers. Penne that most of it will go in the freezer because we need some freezer meals just ready to go. Um, and a stir fry. So I put the eggs in with the pie maker cold. Then I put it on for four minutes. And that there is at four minutes. The perfect runny egg. What is it, so? The perfect runny egg. Perfect egg. Well done, darling. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.